welcome back to Space Coast Channel's Lively Brevard. I'm your hostess, Jennifer Cleveland. And I'm Malak, and as always, welcome back. Thank you for being with us. Today we have Evelyn and Linda, and we are extremely excited about hearing more about your club. We hear great things about it, and I definitely I'm very excited about that. So Evelyn, would you please go ahead and start telling us a little about your club? Uh, well, this is a club that was first begun in 1964. Yes. Okay. Uh, and they have grown since then. Does someone, how do you decide? How do you make a decision? What community? Or do they come to you? Do you go to them? How do you make those type of decisions? Well, sometimes they will come to us. Generally, no, they don't come to us. We usually find these people. They need to have food. They need to help have help maybe with their rent. Mm -hmm. They maybe need to have uh, help with their family. So um, how many members are in your club? Well, we have approximately, right now, uh, 70 members. Oh, that's wonderful. And do you have any events or anything that you just um, finished? That well, yes, we have just finished the uh, Satellite Beach Founders Day. Uh, and that's a very big program for us. Excellent. And. Um, Linda, you were telling me about something to do with libraries. Tell me about your how you're connected to libraries. Um, when the organization in Satellite Beach formed, there was a need for a library because it was a new city at, at 19, in 1964. And um, women's clubs have been known to establish libraries. We've uh, established about 75% of all public libraries in the United States. That's so wonderful. the, the uh, women of the club knew there was a need and they collected books, bought books, and ran the library for a short period of time. And it's uh, grown from there. Nice. Well, Linda, I'm looking at uh, your brochure, and Evelyn, this is a great brochure for anyone that wants more information about you. And it's fascinating, all the major past products that you have done. And I'm very interested in hearing just a little more about um, the Hacienda Ranch. What do, you, what do you aim for that particular organization? At the current time, every two years, uh, we elect new state officers and uh, the executive committee, and the state president chooses her special project and then the clubs throughout the state of Florida uh, ours being one of them there are over 200 clubs in Florida wow. so in a lot of cities were very active and she chose Hacienda Girls Ranch as her special project to raise funds um, at, at the current time one of the basic needs that they have is for a fence not to keep the girls in but to protect the girls because yes. when the property was built it was uh, pretty barren around there. Now the city of Melbourne has grown up and is very, very close. And yes. so one of the objectives is to um, get a security fence to Wonderful. help protect the girls. The girls at Hacienda are, have been taken from their homes uh through court uh from uh abuse or neglect and need that security absolutely yes yes so we're working on that do you have any um upcoming meetings that people can go to or are they, are they open to the public yes they're open to the public um we meet the third monday of each month and we meet at 10 o'clock uh, meeting starts at 10.30, but we have social time from 10 to 10.30, and we meet at the Satellite Beach Library in, in the um, activities room. And I see that you have an annual membership fee. What is that? The membership fee right now is uh, $43, and that's for one year, and uh, with that you get the yearbook with uh, all of the the bylaws and the list of all the members' names and their addresses, phone numbers, birthdays, and um, a membership uh, badge with wow. your name on it. That also means that uh, you're a member of our club, Satellite Beach Women's Club, 
but you're also a member of the Florida Federation of Women's Clubs. And another question is I see that, you know, uh, donations. Uh, just tell us briefly about that. How can someone donate to you and what is it that they're donating? Usually the donations are uh, money that we raise at our fundraiser, especially Marketplace, which uh, took place last Saturday. The list in our brochure is all of the uh, organizations that, that we give to. So. Uh, we prepare a budget every year and make a list out and then the members vote on that. If uh, a member has an idea for a new organization or a new charity or a new need, then um, we adopt that and, and put it into the budget if, if the members want to support that. Any other projects in the past that um, we need to you know, kind of be aware of, the community we'd like to know about? Uh, we did uh, a large fundraiser a few years ago, it was called Save the Beach, it was to make sure that uh, a high rise didn't go in right next to a community park, it's Pelican Beach Park, which is yes. right, on, right on the ocean, and so we've kept that, we bought that property, uh, we've done dune crossover repair, um, equipment in uh, some of the uh, parks. Um, a few years ago, uh, Hightower Park, uh, the city was remodeling it and putting in a boardwalk. And we found out that there was a system um, that could be purchased that if there was an emergency, because that isn't manned by a lifeguard, that if there was an emergency, the uh, person could go to um, the facility, the building that is there, push the button and they would be connected with uh, the fire department and rescue. Wow, so it wonderful. was an emergency call system that cost around two thousand mm -hmm. dollars so we raised the money to, to give for that. There's One other thing idea. that we've done and I just uh, happened to think about this is yearly we uh, award a teacher's grant and we award three $500 grants to the teachers at, either at Satellite High or Delore Middle School and we send out um, a notice at the beginning of the school year that all they have to do to get this $500 grant is to write us a letter that says this is what I would do in my classroom if I had $500 oh, wow. and then we give that out we re receive those and a, a panel of uh, five to seven of the members sit down, read the, the um, grant applications or the letter, find out how many students it would impact if that teacher got the $500, and then uh, we award those usually uh, right after our holiday party in December. So how often do you ladies get together and meet, and how often do you do luncheons? And We meet the third Monday mm -hmm. of each month, and we meet at the library starting at 10 o'clock and we have a social time until the meeting starts at 10.30. In the meetings, we have a different program and different speaker about community issues. Um, each month is a different issue. Okay. And um, so uh, we meet starting in September and we go through until June. Then we take July and August off because a lot of members travel or vacation during yes. that time so but the rest of the time every month we meet once a month wonderful so how would um, someone get in touch with you if they were interested in joining your organi organization or visiting um, you can find us at sbwomensclub at gmail.com okay. or uh, we have a post office box in Satellite Beach it's, uh, GFWC Satellite Beach Women's Club and, and that's on your shirt, isn't it? GFWC. Yeah. Yes, okay. it yes. is. Yes, it <laughs> <Okay>. is. <laughs> and then do you have a phone number or to, to um, your Facebook page? Uh, we do have Facebook page. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Nice. Go home and like it. Yes, yes, yes. you should. Yes. Thank you all so much for coming and talking to us. And it's wonderful and sounds like a, a wonderful organization and brings a lot to our community. 
Well, thank you. Yeah, we thank you for having us. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. now, this is fascinating because a lot of these organizations were all connected to. So I'm very proud of your organization, proud of you ladies for being here. Thank you for your time. And thank to you. our audience, obviously, please, if you have any contributions, would you like to help them out, please, as you can see right here on their shirts who they are, mm -hmm. and reach out to them. Thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm.